find the area of the surface formed by revolving the Lemniscate skate r squared equals to a squared cosine 2 theta about the polar axis here the polar axis is the initial length our main objective is to get the surface area generated by revolving this Lemniscate skate about the initial length here we are given that the curve r squared equals to a squared cosine 2 theta which implies that r equals to a root over cosine 2 theta one can clearly observe that cosine 2 theta is always non negative that means cosine 2 theta which is greater than or equal to 0 which implies that 2 theta always lies between negative pi by 2 and pi by 2 from which theta lies between negative pi by 4 and pi by 4 this is one particular case the second case will be cosine 2 theta is non negative for 2 theta lies between 3 pi by 2 and 5 pi by 2 it gives us theta lies between 3 pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4 from which one can clearly observe that the curve is always symmetric about the initial line now we need to get the limits of r when theta is equal to 0 the curve Lemniscate skate becomes r squared equals to a squared it is a quadratic equation it has two roots r equals to plus or minus c apart from this when theta is equals to pi by 2 the Lemniscate skate became r squared equals to 0 it is a quadratic equation it has two roots the root is 0 repeated twice when 0 is repeated we will get two loops one loop is formed from 0 to a that is one particular loop and another one is formed from 0 to negative a that is another loop thus we get the two loops of the curve therefore the required surface area is let it be s area of the surface generated by revolving the two loops about the initial line that equals to area of the surface generated by revolving one arc oa the reason behind this is the curve is always symmetric about the initial line mathematically we have a formula that equals to 2 times of integral 0 to pi by 4 since we have considered the surface generated by revolving one particular arc OA so here the limits of theta varies from 0 to pi by 4 we have 2 times of integral 0 to pi by 4 2 pi by a ds by d theta d theta 2 into 2 4 pi integral 0 to pi by 4 where y is r sin theta d s by d theta is arc length that is r squared plus dr by d theta whole squared d theta here we need to get root over r squared plus dr by d theta whole square to get this particular integrand we have r equals to a root over cosine 2 theta therefore we consider dr by d theta a constant root over cosine 2 theta derivative 1 by 2 root over cosine 2 theta inner derivative 2 cosine 2 theta is negative sine 2 theta into 2 here 2 2 cancelled on simplification we obtain negative a sin 2 theta by root over cosine 2 theta in the integrand we have dr by d theta whole square squaring on both sides to this result we have dr by d theta whole square equals to a square sin square 2 theta by cosine 2 theta but integrand consists r squared plus dr by d theta whole square we consider r squared plus dr by d theta whole squared equals to here r squared is a square cosine 2 theta plus 
d r by d theta whole square just we have found that a squared sin square 2 theta upon cosine 2 theta here the lcm is cosine 2 theta the numerator becomes a squared cosine square 2 theta plus a squared sin square 2 theta in the numerator let us take common a squared we have cosine square 2 theta plus sin square 2 theta all of us familiar with the result of cosine square 2 theta plus sin square 2 theta is 1 a square times of 1 is a square in the denominator we have a cosine 2 theta therefore r square plus dr by d theta whole square equals to a square upon cosine 2 theta to get a square root r square plus a dr by d, d theta whole square just we will consider square root of r square plus dr by d theta whole square is a by root over cosine 2 theta so we have considered all the requirements to get the surface area thus the surface area s equals to 4 pi integral 0 to pi by 4 where r is a root over cosine 2 theta we have the sin theta in the integrand and uh, square root r square plus dr by d theta whole square directly replaced with a by root over cosine 2 theta d theta on simplification root over cosine 2 theta root over cosine 2 theta cancelled out we have the constant terms 4 pi a into a a squared integral 0 to pi by 4 the resultant integrand sin theta d theta we know that uh, sin theta and its integration negative cosine theta consider the limits between 0 and pi by 4 here the constant is uh, 4 pi a squared into negative 1 that is negative 4 pi a squared now theta is replaced with pi by 4 we have the upper result cos pi by 4 negative theta is replaced with 0 we will get lower result cosine 0 negative 4 pi a squared cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 negative 1 negative 4 pi a squared for our convenience 1 by root 2 can be rewritten as root 2 by 2 negative 1 that equals to negative 4 pi a squared on simplification we obtain root 2 negative 2 by 2 finally by simple algebraic calculation we have obtained the surface area is 2 pi a squared 2 negative root 2.